Do uh, it. <laughs> well, just be me. Yeah, what a, do I say? Goofball. What do I say? <laughs> What's up, YouTube? It's Mark again. Welcome back to Swamp and Stomp. Welcome, welcome back to Swamp and Stomp. It's month before South Zone. I am Robbie Ruffenstein. You can catch me on Instagram. And what are we going to go do today? We are going to go try to find some turkey birds and uh, hopefully find where we're going to hunt open a weekend. We'll do it. All right, guys. In case I don't use Robbie's intro, it's Mark again and welcome back to Swamp and Stomp. So today we're doing a little bit of uh, turkey scouting. And we're out here in an area that I hunted during uh, archery season. And even though I didn't see any deer that time around, I saw some hogs. We don't really care about that. But I saw a ton of turkeys back in this, this little hammock here. So uh, we're just making our way in there. We're gonna check out what we see. I don't think we're gonna hear anything gobbling. It's su super windy, but um, it's really cool country back here. It's uh, a lot different than it was during archery. It's super dry now. Well, <laughs> for Florida, you know. So let's go see what we can find. That is a big deer. And he didn't go 30 yards. Oh my God. <laughs> that was the first buck I've ever shot. Woo, what a rush. Money, that deer is dead. Tagged out, baby. You shot one? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I saw him go what? down. I'm excited. This is my first turkey scouting session of the season. <clears throat> Seeing all those turkeys the other day, I got real excited. Looks like a little, kind of a small turkey track. I just feel like every year, the first time I see them, like, they always look so small to me, you know? And then, and then after I like, look at them for a while, I'm like, oh, that's a normal size turkey track. I'm surprised we haven't been picking up snipe left and right. Yeah, they, so, this is like prime snipe country. I don't even understand. We should be kicking them up everywhere. You can come shoot at with my 10 millimeter. We find a good wood duck hole. Yeah. No turkeys. I mean, I personally wouldn't expect there to be any wood ducks here, but you light all this on fire and then put some delete wild the rice grass. In there. Wood duck hole. Yeah. It's like 
was the last time I came. I was standing right back there and I heard one fire off and I came in here and I had three of them gobbling like up in those pines. So I snuck through here. I set up on the other side. I had one come in but I didn't know he was there and I moved and he ran off but I went down here to that back corner. I found a ton of tracks there the other day. So I know they're in here. And we just saw those fresh tracks right there. There's a lot of tracks. So. Decent amount. See I can see this dries up a tad. Collider to get in here. I'll figure out another way to get you can walk through this grass yeah. relatively easily. But I mean personally like I've had better success getting close to them by not trying to get close to them right off the roost and just getting close like to the area where you can hear them and then see you know if they gobble then move yeah. in when you have a little bit of daylight and you can like move more quietly so I don't know I like opposite I, I try to get as close as possible in the dark see yeah I mean and then I sit down and be quiet that's it I mean, we're going to hunt together this season, so I'll probably learn a lot from you, but that's just been the times that I've gotten close. It's been because I heard one and then moved in on it. Yeah, because if I've got birds gobbling and if I'm close, I stay. Just stay put. They know you're coming. They, you know, they know right where you're at. Yeah, maybe. You're probably right. Anyway. Not that windy. It's possible we hear one. Oh, 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 What's up, YouTube? So, I'm doing a little bit of scouting today. And uh, this is an area that I hunted last year. And I actually have some great footage. Uh, and me getting pretty close to a couple birds. I wasn't able to seal the deal. But last year when I came out here, this was bone dry. And as you can see right now, it is far from it. So I actually ditched my bike 
couple hundred yards back because there's really no point in riding my bike through this. It's too muddy. So, got a long walk to get to where I want to be. But hopefully, there's some good sign because I've probably put in over 20 miles of scouting so far this season. And I don't have any turkeys to show for it. And by turkeys, I mean just knowing where they're living. Found one spot where there's a jake, um, a bunch of hens, but I haven't found a good tom yet. Last year, I hunted this spot the last day of season, and I had three birds gobbling around me. I had never heard a gunshot, so hopefully those birds are still hanging out back here. We're gonna find out today. Hopefully this walk is worth it. Well, this is definitely different than uh, it was last year. I have to walk through this because the trail is completely soaked. I'm gonna be walking like knee deep. <clears throat> if anything, this is definitely gonna keep the average person from getting out here. I really hope I see some good bird sign when I get to where I wanna be. Tell you what, this is giving me the heebie jeebies. Last time I went through this, there was a bunch of gators in this hole, but the hole was tiny. And I was able to avoid the actual water. Now, I am unable to avoid the water. So, and I gotta walk back through this in the dark. If I do get chomped by a gator, I lose a foot. At least I'll have it on video. I finally made it through all the cypress into the area that's all pines and it's nice and dry over here. Too bad it can't be the other way around because then I'd actually be able to use my bike through the dry part. But again, this is exactly why other people are not as likely to come out here. So I'm almost to the area I want to get to. So hopefully I start seeing some decent sign here. Finally some turkey tracks. Well, this is really frustrating. We walked for like an hour and a half. And I've found some turkey tracks, but I haven't found anything that makes me think this place is loaded. I've definitely not found like their home yet. There was more tracks closer to the road. So I'm gonna start making my way back there and then wait till, uh, till sunset and see if anything gobbles. I did, however, find um, there's like 10 wood ducks sitting right here when I just walked by. Duck season's over, so that's not helpful. Finally, when I'd given up, I was hustling back to my bike. Came across these tracks. And this is a real trick. This is a, this is a tom. These are huge tracks.
there's a dog. I, I found some huge turtles. They go out that way. I didn't see them down that way. So it's possible he's still in this little area. So I'm going to sneak on out of here. But they're super, super fresh. I can still see the scales in the, in the middle of this brown. What's up, y'all? So it's like a Wednesday right now. Got off of work and just hustled out to the woods because got about probably 40 minutes until sunset. I just want to spend more time out here trying to uh, find places that turkeys are roosting. Hopefully, I can hear something. It's real calm, crystal clear skies, kind of night, no wind. So if one gobbles, should be able to hear it from a ways away. <clears throat> Walking out to an area that a buddy of mine told me that he found a lot of tracks at last year. Um, it's a pretty good hike, but I'm just walking down a buggy trail the whole way, so I should be able to uh, hustle out there pretty quickly. So I'm basically just going to hike as far as I can in 40 minutes. Listen, and then hike back. We'll see how it goes. Just riding 